Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is very exciting because I am going to be trucking wheat to the elevator in order to sell it. I'm going to be driving this red tandem truck, which is the first ever truck I drove. You can actually see that video. It was not very long ago, so it feels so awesome to be back in the same truck. It's also very cold out today, and as you can see, there's frost everywhere. It's the first day. It hasn't been so incredibly windy in Montana this week. Here is the wheat field I helped seed, and I actually helped harvest it two years ago, so you can see the 2020 harvest videos in this field. That's the elevator. Dad just moved the truck back a little bit. So this is what we found in the truck. We picked this out of the field so it doesn't get in the tires of the vehicles. But it was just sitting here in the truck when I got in, so that's pretty cool. Okay, can you go to the floor? Are you to the floor? Yep. Okay, push D, take that yellow thing off. Okay. And we are off. Hey, if, if you change that long cage, you can get on the road before Darcy gets here. Good. Okay. Darcy just went by. I just set my cruise control and now we're on the highway headed to the elevator. We're hauling grain to United Grain, which I actually did a video touring the elevator, so you'll have to check that out. It's called How Farmers Make Money. So it's okay. just a short little trip. Did you tell them why we're not using the other truck? We are not using the other truck because right at the end of my last load yesterday, an engine light came on. Engine and protection light. An engine protection light came on. So we have to take it in to get it looked at. And so now we're using this one, which is, this is actually the first tandem truck I'd ever driven and how I learned how to drive, I guess, truck. Which wasn't very long ago, actually. Why didn't we use the other white truck? Oh, and then we were going to use the other white truck, but it didn't start because the battery is dead. So that's just a typical day on the farm. This truck doesn't work, so you gotta go try this truck. That truck didn't start, so now we ended up in this truck. My dad says trucks work on the 50% rule like combines and drills for seating. At any given time, 50% of them are broken down, so you need about four to make sure a couple are going. We are hauling hard red winter wheat today, and there's two types of wheat. There's spring wheat and winter wheat. Spring wheat you plant in the spring, and winter wheat you plant in the fall. The main difference between these two types of wheat is winter wheat has to freeze in order to produce a head, which is the wheat kernel, and spring wheat can't freeze. And then there's different types of spring wheat and winter wheat. You have, for the most part on the farm, we don't grow any hard white, we just grow hard red. We also sometimes grow barley or pulse crops, which are chickpeas, lentils, things like that. Durham occasionally as well. Durham is used for pasta, and I love pasta. Oh, here comes Austin in the black truck. The work for farmers does not stop in the winter. Although you're not planting crops or harvesting them or tending to your fields, you still have to work on all of your equipment and haul wheat to the elevator in order to pay all of the bills you have for the year. All of the parts of the farm operation are equally important and crucial to a family farm success. Thanks to Hater works good. Yes, that's the most important part. Especially when it's this cold. Well, it ain't very cold yet. What gear are you in? Seven. Start being a little more passive. It has four. Okay, that's hilarious, oh my goodness. We can't have 
have those kinds of things in the fields because they're really hard on equipment. Yeah, on the tires. This is also the same truck I drove nearly to the Canadian border to a town called Sunburst and I was hauling malt barley and I stalled it right over the pit and we couldn't get it started again so that was a very bad situation. I'm going to try not to do that again because that would be very bad. This elevator is a lot busier and would have a whole lineup behind me.
Don't drive on the scale when you got another truck on. just idle around. Okay, they're kind of done probing. They'll probably get my light. You can do this and not have to stop if you think that you can't pull onto the scale with him on it. So just let it idle. Okay, he's supposed to leave now. So you'll just idle your truck in the middle of the thing up to the probe, right? Yeah. See what he did? Or I don't... So go on. Okay, that's Tyler. Yeah, I just keep going. Okay, and don't, and okay, when you get on to the scale that you're, okay, just let it idle, okay? When you get, okay, when you're pro, Clutch? Not yet. I don't want to hit this guy. Clutch? Clutch? Brake? Not yet. About now. Brake. Brake. Okay. I thought that we're going to do a red light. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn more about how your food gets to your table. Bye. Bye.